let us define the aim so this aim will be to develop an ar model of the fir filter here now our task is to obtain the coefficients of the fir filter for which we have to do this ar modeling here so let us consider that the coefficients what we expect so these coefficients can be accepted by the symbol c here or simply coe f here so now assignment of the coefficients can be provided to this variable either by the use of the matlab syntax fir pm or remez here so here we are going to take the details of fir pm here by just writing help fir pm here as we have the parks maclean optimal equiripal fir filter design expected here we can be using this particular matlab syntax here so you can see here fir pm so this is parks maclean optimal equiripple fir filter design possible and these are the input arguments we can provide to this syntax and this way this will be the output variable that will hold all the coefficient information now either we can make the use of fir pm or remez here i just prefer the convention here remez and provide the input as just now we discussed that the approximation of fir digital filter we are going to expect here the order value we will set it to the value 13 here so 13 comma here we shall be provide the input arguments with 0 then the another value 0.5 in this array then we have 0.6 then one here and after this square bracket we provide another input here we have that it is 1 1 0 0 so these are the input arguments n f a here you can see so this is the real part this is the coefficients and all that we expect from this particular matlab syntax here now by the next line we are going to make the use of a function that is providing us the frequency response of a digital filter so for providing the frequency response of a digital filter as you just clear the screen the best function is to make use of freq z here so if we write help space freq z you can get here the details of this particular function so this is providing us the frequency response of a digital filter this way the function can be used here here we have the information after operating it in terms of the vector h and the n point frequency vector that it is w here so i shall be using this conventional symbols in the small case i shall write h comma w here so both will hold the corresponding informations by operating this particular function freqz and to this matlab syntax we shall be providing the input arguments by uh, here we shall be making the use of coefficients those we have already obtained into the above step comma 1 comma 512 we can make the entry of here now by the next step here by the next step as we expect the all pool ir filter that is designed using the function the function we are going to introduce here that function is lpc function here it will provide you the linear predictor coefficients here uh, i just clear the matlab command window here and just mention help here you shall be getting the details of the lpc here you can see the details so lpc stands for the linear predictor coefficients here this way it can be utilized here and it will be providing you the output capital a with the nth order forward linear predictor of the types as discussed below so you can also check the details here so i shall be making the output variables to hold the information in terms of d and capital e of lpc command and 
and within the parenthesis I shall be writing the inputs of the coefficients that we have obtained into the first step and for this particular IR filter we set the order at 7 so for FIR filter we have order set at 13 for this filter we have set it at 7 here now again we have to make the use of the FREQ's head command here for obtaining the frequency response of the concerned digital filter here so as we shall be again obtaining the information with respect to the H and W here as the filter is expectedly changed here we get it to the H1 here W we keep it as it is and then use the same syntax FREQ set here and within the parenthesis we shall be providing the information regarding here the square root of then syntax SQRT within the parenthesis what details we have obtained from LPC that is the linear predictor coefficients here so here we have the capital E so we have capital E that we can multiply to the length of the earlier coefficients that we have obtained for the FIR filter the length of COEF well, and after this comma we can provide T that is obtained from the above step here and then we can have the entry of 512 here ending the line with the help of semicolon here now it's the task to have plotting so the plotting of the magnitude response concerning by the generated whatever we have the development of the AR model for the FIR filter design here we can do so for that purpose we shall be having the plot command here and to this plot command we shall provide the input w divided by the constant called pi we know then the absolute value of the information gathered by the variable vector h here <coughs> then we have within the single quotes hyphen to provide here just for the separation purpose then next to that we provide w divided by again the constant pi and then the absolute value of here we shall be providing h1 here from the next task comma here we shall be providing two hyphens within the pair of single quote here and finally at the end lines we have x label to this x label the nomenclature to be provided for the x axis here within a pair of parentheses and a single quote here uh, we shall be mentioning the omega divided by pi here so here it is omega divided by and here it will be the pi here so this will print the symbols of omega and pi here and by the next line we shall have the labeling of another axis by y label within the pair of parentheses and a pair of single quotes we shall just mention the magnitude here so this completes our matlab script for the development of AR model of the FIR filter as discussed here so just save this particular one let us have this with the name program underscore 8 underscore as this is the 18th program dot m will be the file extension the name has appeared to this particular tab on editor window as well the file is created into the current folder now we can run this particular program so as we run this particular program we are having the variables concerning this particular MATLAB script into the workspace as well one window has been popped out that is having the title figure 1 and here we see the plot on the horizontal axis we have omega divided by pi as provided and the magnitude that has been plotted for the labels 0 to 1.4 at a max here and we see these particular plots here 
anywhere you can click you will see the corresponding labels of the filters that we have talked about for the auto regressive models here